Hello, my friends. Welcome back. This is Candy here with Inspiration to Creation. And today what we're going to do is we're going to do tiles. I have one video out um, with tiles. I did a flower design um, on a couple. It was on one, and then the other one I did a, a like a burst. Um, check that one out. I'll link it up here in the corner for you. Um, today what we're doing is, this is the second attempt, okay? I tried this with a pearl, um, brushed pearl gold, um, by Folk Art. And it didn't, didn't look very good here. I'll show you a picture. My husband gave me the thumbs down, so it was a fail, uh, which is cool. We have to fail to, to succeed, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to swipe it with a white. And with spring just around the corner, I felt like using spring colors. So what we've got is, this is Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. And you always, when you're doing, we're doing a swipe. I don't know if I remember if I told you. We're going to do a swipe. And when you do a swipe, you want your swipe color to be just a tad bit thinner because you want your other colors to shine through. So this one is quite thinner than I usually I usually use. All right, and this here we've got Deco Art Americana Citrus Citron Green. And I was on I ran out of this, so I added a little bit of the color shift that's the closest to the color that I had. So there's a little bit of that in there. And these are mixed up. Oh, I also have a little bit of the iridescent medium uh, uh, Artist Loft iridescent medium in there. So see, these are not as thick as I usually use. Okay, and then we have, this is one of my favorite colors. Fire Coral by Folk Art. Beautiful color. It's a peachy pink color. Just gorgeous. Same consistency as the Citron Green. And this is Coastal Waters. By Deco Art. Um, I love this color. It's so versatile. You can use it with so many other colors and it just does accents it very, very well. Sandra Lett uh, uses this color a lot. And if you haven't seen her videos, go check her out. She's an amazing artist. Amazing, amazing. She's very good. Sandra Lett, L E T T, I believe. All right, so what I was thinking about doing is I've got my little paper towels over here, sprayed them a little bit with water, and before what I did was I did two going down this way, two going this way. I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm going to make them all uniform, <laughs> excuse me, and I think I want to go this way. Well, yeah, let's go this way. Okay, so let's get started. And I put them in these paper cups so I can pinch the edge and it makes it easier to pour. I have these little things for my leftover paint and it's hard to pour out of them. So I poured them in here and that makes it a little easier. I wasted so much paint probably why I ran out of the citron green. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm going to go left to right. And I probably should go ahead and do another layer here. If you don't get it perfect, that's okay. You're going to swipe down over it anyway. That's what I like about swipes. You don't have to really worry about it. There we go. And don't worry about the paint that I'm dripping. I'll use that for jewelry. So I do not, whoops, I do not waste paint. So I don't have to. Okay. Coastal waters. This is so cool. I love 
love spring. It's one of my favorite, favorite months. Fall and spring are my favorite seasons. Fall with the beautiful color of the leaves. And actually, I live in Florida, so we really don't have that. However, I used to live in Georgia for nine months, many years ago. So I got a taste of the change of seasons and oh my goodness, it was magical. Absolutely magical. I'd like to go up there this year if I can to take pictures. I took a, oops, a photography course last year, took a couple of them and um, I would really love to go take pictures of the fall leaves up there because that country up there. We lived in North Georgia, a place called Turner's Corner. And it's right between Cleveland and um, Cleveland and, oh my goodness, I can't believe I can't remember that name of that town. It's where they had the big gold rush um, like long, long, long time ago. Oh my goodness, I can't believe. I cannot remember the name of that. Anyway, it'll come to me. I'll note it down there because I'll look it up. Um, beautiful people up there. We met a couple that lived down the road from the uh, cabin that we were running in. Oh my goodness, good people. They brought us food out of their garden. Just the sweetest people on the face of the earth. Just good God-fearing people, and I tell you, you can't get better than that. They're amazing. I miss miss them every day. Every single day. All right, I'm gonna move this around and kind of fill in the fill in the gaps here. There we go. Get the edges. Now these edges are black on this tile because I actually had another fail. Um, before I decided to do this and it was with black I tried to do a sunflower didn't work <laughs> did not work and don't worry about this down here because when you swipe you're gonna bring the paint down over the end of it and that'll cover that area go. Just want to make sure everything is covered before you swipe. I do anyway. That way I don't, if I have a good composition, I don't have to worry about messing with it. There we go. Right. This paint might be a little too thick. Oh, and I put a little bit of silicone in this. I don't usually use silicone, but for a swipe, um, I did it without the, the fail that I did. I did it without silicone and nothing was, was coming up through. It wasn't coming up through the top layer of paint. And um, so I kind of think you have to have silicone in your paint when you do swipes. <clears throat> there we go, and this side, oh, we got a goober. There we go, it fell. Goober fell. Well, no goobers in our paint. Okay, and I think I would like to do, uh oh, got my rag. I don't want to put 
a large area of white up here. So I think I'm gonna just do a little bit of pink to fill that in. So I don't want a big strip of white. Just a little bit to pull over these colors. There we go. Oh, these are going to be beautiful jewelry. Okay. All right, now for the white. And we're just going to put a little tiny line. Let's bring this down a little bit. There we go. Okay. Right here on the edge. That was pulling it off, wasn't it? Hmm. Got too close to the edge. All right, let's go one more time. Okay, there we go. Get that pink off there. Perfect. Okay, let's get our paper towels. I'm going to spray them with water and get them a little damp. Not too, not too wet. Okay, and what you want to do. You want to lay the, whoops, the end of your paper towel in the white. You see it connecting, and you start pulling it down. And I kind of want to do this. Oh, now that's cool. Cells coming up. Got a caterpillar. I wonder why. I'm thinking when you get caterpillars like that, that's because you didn't mix it well enough. I'll have to watch um, the Swipe Queen, or who I think is the best at it, and that's um, that's Julie with pouring your heart, <clears throat> excuse me, pouring your heart out. Look at the cells popping up. Much better, much better. And I'll come back with a little, a little piece and do that corner. Okay. it now <laughs> okay here we go 
go, sports fans. All right. I'm going to just lay it in the white, whatever color your swipe is, and gently pull. Very cool. And you know what? I think I'm just going to use this. little more white but <clears throat> look at the lines the wavy lines that is really neat I'll come back after I get done with this one and do that the ends right there turned out really cool now I love this much better much better okay spread out baby there we go mm -hmm. I got the pink. I put, I put too much pink at the top. I shouldn't have done that. Therefore, I've got this big patch of pink. When I pour the white on it, it's just pulling it off is what it's doing. So, I shouldn't have done that. This probably is a little too wet. See what happens. All right, so I'm gonna take the corner of this. I drained all the white off or a lot of the white off and then I put more white on that one all right let's do this one number four Right. These are cool. Kind of like tie dye. I like them. Very nice. Very nice. I'll touch up the edges. I think I might have to swipe those two again. They just have too much white on them. Problem. Let's move you guys over so I don't make a mess. Okay. There we go. 
Love that one. <clears throat> Love it. Perfect. Okay, we're gonna swipe that one again. Wow, you guys. Um, are watching this, I will link some of my videos in the top right hand corner to you. And you can go back and check out some of my other videos. I've got some really cool ones up there. Some of them, I even have my grandkids doing paintings. And I know I'm biased, but they're adorable. So funny. Much better. Much better. Okay. Wonderful, guys. I love it. Let me bring you down for a close-up. Okay. I have new lighting, by the way. Let me know what you think. I think it's better. Almost looks like the um, Shaley Bloom. Is that what it is? Look at the lacing. Huh. Pretty interesting. Oh, you know what I should have used? i got to pop them bubbles. I should have used my Deco Art Satin Enamel White. Mmm. Oh, what was I thinking? I just got some of that. I haven't used it but in one painting and that's the collab that I did with Mina Villegas I will put that video up here in the corner for you to watch she's a sweetheart amazing artist if you haven't seen her channel you really need to go there you will be hooked she does all of her stuff outside and I think I'm gonna try to do a couple outside this spring when the weather's nice this turned out really neat. Look at those cells with the multicolors. I think my phone has a wrong setting because I can't go in and it focus. I have to stay back for it to focus, so I need to check that out. Hard to see the, the glimmer of the iridescent medium right now, but when they dry, I will have them out in the sun and you'll be able to see it. Looks like Easter, doesn't it? Like Easter eggs. <laughs> it kind of does. Look how pretty. Those colors are beautiful. Love it. Don't like that caterpillar right there, but it's not too bad. Look how gorgeous. Wow. And the last one. Last but not least. So pretty. I'm very happy with this. Let me know what you think. Do you like the colors? Do you have any suggestions of color palettes? I would love for you guys to suggest color palettes. And if you feel that you would like to help support the arts, I have a PayPal link in my description. I've had a subscriber and Heather um, tell me that it's not working, so I'm, I'm going to get that fixed. We've been kind of busy around here. Unfortunately, my father-in-law passed away about a month ago, and that's why I've been short on videos. It's been a little crazy, but we're getting things back to normal, slowly but surely. And uh, I'll be putting out more videos. So hang tight. See you in a minute. Okay, here's the dried version. These turned out really neat. I like these. Beautiful spring colors. That's the citrus green, the coastal waters, coral, air coral, and um, white for the swipe color. This was the swipe that I did. Yeah, you can see the, the shine on this one too. 
Oh, got a booger there. Didn't know. That's okay. I think the um, the resin will take care of that. These turned out really cool. I like these. They're very pretty for a patio. And um, these are the colors. Some of the colors of my patio: the teal and the green. Kind of like a tropical, tropical look. I'm not going to show it to you right now because it's a mess. But um, there you go. They turned out really good. I'm very pleased with these. Very, very pleased. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I welcome you all to my channel. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. If you liked this video, please hit the like button. That sure does help all of us. And leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And I will see y'all in the next one. Oh, check out all my sites in my description. I've got um, PayPal um, for donations. And I've got, um, I'm working on a new Facebook page. Uh, and I've got an Etsy store. And I'm working on putting, uploading more um, things to sell. So I'm going to put some jewelry up there too. So stay tuned for that. All right, guys. Thanks again for watching. Love you. See you in the next one. Adios, amigos.